for review. I'm Alexis. I'm Steve, and tonight we're going to do a review of Billy Jenkins Bach. It is from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. From Wild Acre Brewing Company in Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth. Five point two percent alcohol by volume. And it is a uh, Bach beer. Yeah, we have no idea. That's all we know. We do like Shiner Bach. It's a damn good uh, looking can though. Some, Pretty cool. Yeah, and some train and some dude in front of it and some military outfit. <laughs> kind of looks like um, somebody. Somebody, somebody important that yeah. history never taught us. I'm, I'm, I'm from I from Maybach. I went from Maybach. <laughs> I bet you it's Billy Jenkins, but I don't know who Billy Jenkins. We is. don't want to make assumptions. Nope, and I will. And here we go. So this is a. Um, Pretty damn near professional pour right here. Oh shit! Look at that. Uh, one finger hit. Oh look! Like it's a good amber. It looks really. Oh, you can't really see through it. No, it's kind of uh, semi cloudy. It looks it's, like this yeah. little split. It's an amber. It's an amber color, which is a box. So you, you really, good for you knowing your colors. Yeah, it's gonna be like an amber color. You get an A plus uh, sticker. Caramel. Head on it. I read somewhere that if you put your thumb on the like the foam, it like makes it go down faster. But I don't think that's true. Yeah, not true. You know what makes it go down faster? Drink <laughs> it. <laughs> um, it smells good. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, Take a shot for every time I say put it in the candle. Yeah. I put this it in the this candle. This has like a pleasant. Uh, I would really put aroma, this in a candle. So, you know, here we go. Cheers. I'm an alcoholic. It's got like a bitter, bitter sweet. Kind of got like a sweet to it. Yeah, not smooth. too bad. It's got a little, a little bitterness to it, but yeah, it's smooth. It's, it's not too bad. Not too wow, bad. you've turned me to the dark side. Not too bad. Um, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It, it's got a little bitter uh, aftertaste to it, but it. It's not like so bitter. Yeah, surprisingly, it's, it's smooth for the uh, bitter aftertaste. Um, and it's not so bitter, you're like, no, no, no. It's got that bitter tingle. Yeah, a good tingle. It's not as smooth as a Shiner or a Zingabach. Nothing is as smooth as a Shiner yeah, or a Zingabach. I would say that, that. Or a Guinness. Well, I kind of find it in the middle of a, a Shiner and Guinness. Guinness has that little coffee, bitter. Oh, so good. And Shiner's a little bit smoother. I find it kind of in the middle. It's like a Shiner and a uh, and, Guinness. And Guinness made a baby. Yeah. Kind and of. it turned out to be the, the Bill, black sheep of the this? family. This is, uh, yeah, Billy Jenkins. Billy Jenkins. I'm sorry. Okay, what? <laughs> I can't help but uh, say that like some southern dude. This is a Billy Jenkins. This is a Billy Jenkins bear. Billy Mother Ever Jenkins. Hey, you know what? Ain't nobody gonna say Mother Ever. They're gonna be like, y'all want Billy, Billy Jenkins bear? It's Samuel Jackson, Mother Ever, and Billy Ever Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, this is not too bad. I like this one. Uh, I like it. I'll go ahead and rate it. I give it a. Oh, shit, see, it was quick. Uh, I'll give it a six. Let me do it one more time. I give it a six. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with that rating too. A six. Six, yeah. Because it's, it's it's good. Yeah, but when I compare it to like Shiner Guinness, because I compare all my dark beer to that now, all of it, and and this is not in the middle. Dark, it's dark, the dark. In, in between. Yeah, like it's, it's. I would go for it again. Like if somebody yeah. offered this to no, me, I'd drink it. Yeah. Because it is decent. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, and it's it good. would be, like, this might be the one beer I would drink with a steak. Because it's not yeah, so it's, heavy. Yeah. But it's also not like light beer. Uh, I know. No, this is really good. Uh, I give it a six. I recommend it. It's not, like, overly awesome. But it doesn't suck. It is actually a decent, good uh, beer. Um, if you, if you like bog beers, if you like darker beers, amber beers, you're not going wrong. 
Mm -hmm. A little bitter taste to it. Doesn't uh, detract from how good it is. And it doesn't have like a bitter aftertaste. Like that bitterness yeah. does die down and go away. Yeah, it does. It doesn't like, linger. I can't, yeah. It doesn't linger and like kick in the balls. It yeah, it doesn't. It's not like one. Of, it's not like no, it's um, black coffee. It's, it's not black beer. coffee. It's not great. It's not bad. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. If you didn't know already. Billy. Motherfucking Jenkins. So, I do recommend I it. That out. I give it a six. I recommend it, and I also gave it a six. So, um, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell, give us a like. <laughs> Comment <laughs> if you've tried this beer, if you liked it, or if you've tried any other beers from this brewing company, Wild Acre. And the can's awesome. Yeah, the can was cool ish. Anyways. Yeah, ish. <laughs> um, and then we are going to be. Doing our power hour challenge. Yeah, we haven't we did. done it yet, but we will. We we'll did reach the 50 subscribers, so we'll be looking for that. Ring the good. notification bell so you can get notified when we upload that video. I'm Alexis. I'm Steve. And this is Drugs Notes for Review. Peace out.